Hello everybody. Today is the first day at my job and I'll be taking a shower in about five minutes and getting ready. And then I can relax a little bit before I have to go. Luckily it's not a long drive there, about five minutes. So that's pretty easy and short. I, last time I went to do my videos, I got there really early. Thank you for cleaning up the car. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're always hauling wood in it and it's always filthy and I have to wear all black so I didn't want to get sawdust and stuff all over me. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. And here's this guy. He was just sleeping on the towel shelf in the bathroom and now here he is out here. He must have snuck out and I didn't see him. Good boy. Okay, I took my shower and I have all my work clothes on. And the the pants. The only thing I have left to put on is my shoes and I have probably about a half an hour before I have to leave. And hopefully Don will vlog for you. I just asked him to. I asked him if he knew how to use this camera and he says yes. So if he doesn't there won't be much content on days I work. And I just ate a grilled cheese for lunch and I'm taking one with me for my break and then Don's going to make dinner and have a plate waiting for me when I get home like he always did before when I worked at the gas station. And here's Tug. What, what have you been doing? Sleeping under the deck? Nobody likes to see that thing. Yeah, they do. No. Yeah, they do. No. Why would they want to look at something like that? Because he's cute. He's cute! So, anyway, day one is going to commence pretty soon. Hopefully it goes good. Oh yeah, you forget there's a screen on here, a flip screen, and I can see you. It's good. <laughs> well, hey everybody. You know, I've been at work for a while now. Um, I've been just sitting around here at home, been watching The Walking Dead still. And when I was going through the freezer earlier looking for what to pull out for dinner, um, I ended up seeing our fish that we caught from in July, uh, sheep's head. Was, some of it was starting to get the look of uh, freezer burn to it. So I ended up pulling that out, thawing it out. And I went ahead and canned it up. So I got that all canned and, go, and sitting out here on the table cooling off. And it was only ended up being two pint jars full, a quart's worth. I know it don't look very appetizing, but I gotta figure I promise you it'll taste better than what it looks. It's still pretty warm yet. I didn't add no liquids to it, it was just what was naturally in the meat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cool off and do its own thing. But other than that, I'll let you guys go for in the meantime. Well everybody, um, I'm starting dinner right now and we're going to have a pork roast and potatoes and carrots and going to be corn in along with it too. And I just put it in the pressure cooker. I'm going to do a, have it be a pressure cooker dinner. So this is what I got going on right now. Just doing the meat and the potatoes in there. There's what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna use canned carrots and um, canned um, corn. So I'm not gonna add that in with it because it's already canned and it's already you know cooked. So I'll add that in the end when it's hot. And I'm going to sit down and watch some more of The Walking Dead and drink a little bit more coffee and go from there. Alright, well, the pressure cooker has been going for a little while now. Um, I'm probably going to let it go for about another 15 minutes and then it'll probably be done. Because all I know is it's smelling really good. 
The only thing I put in it was you know three spices was garlic powder and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and that was it. And other than that, not a whole lot going on. I'm about ready to put the two cans of fish away along with the five jars of uh, potatoes I canned from a few days back. Other than that, still nothing going on. Canola's still at work. And she's going to be at work for, well, it's 7.40, 49.40 for like another couple of hours. So, um, I'll let you guys go for in the meantime. Okay, um, food just got done. Pressure cooker decided to finally let me in because it had me locked out because I'd let it depressurize. Um, I've decided to end, end up making this, uh, turn this into a stew instead of a boiled dinner type of a thing. So I just got done adding some parsley and, and uh, a couple of other seasonings to it. And I just got the meat out. It's really, really, really tender. It's got the verge of just falling right apart. And so I'm going to turn this into a stew instead. And get it thickened up I use cornstarch for doing it but other than that it, it got about a half a pressure cooker's worth of food here but that's what it looks like so far I'm gonna stick the spoon in here and stir it up a little bit for you guys but there's carrots, corn, potatoes, and other seasonings. All right, here's the meat. Yeah, I barely even have to do anything with it. It just comes right apart. I'm not even putting hardly any pressure into it. But I'm going to just go ahead and break the meat up and get it put back in there. And bring it to a boil so that way I can thicken up the juices other than that there's just absolutely nothing going on it's boring um, Daniel's got another two hours worth of work and plus a drive home which only takes her 10 to 15 anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes to make it home once she gets out to the car <clears throat> but other than that I'm still watching The Walking Dead and I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat broken up and get it turned into a stew instead I got thinking about it right towards the end just before the pressure cooker decided to let me in because it had me locked out you know so safety purposes um, so all I know is that if you never use a pressure cooker and don't know much about them they can be dangerous if you don't know exactly what you're doing but I've used them quite often in my past, but never really used them for canning until recently, so. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, um, I got dinner all done. Got done tearing up the meat and got it all thickened up. So it's all ready to go. I'm probably going to let it set for a few minutes to cool off some before I try and eat any of it. But here's what it looks like. But, yeah, it's nice and thick. Not overly thick, but nice and thick. So, but this is basically pressure cooker stew right here. I gotta get the lid all washed up. A couple of dirty dishes I got going on over there, I gotta get washed up. Okay, so I'm home, and everything went just fine. It's a really easy register system. And even though we closed, we didn't even clean anything but nothing was dirty and it's 10:35, and I have to work tomorrow because while I was there somebody who works there showed up on crutches and she said she can't work so because she fell off a non-moving motorcycle uh, so anyway I'm working 10:30 to 4 tomorrow so, so uh, we can still go to the truck show parade in Mackinac City but I'm going to eat my dinner that Don left here, and I see he vlogged a few clips for you guys. So since I have to get up at 8.30 in the morning, we're going to say goodnight, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night.
And Smokey's trying to steal my soup. Not stew. 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 Get off here. Stop stealing my food. I'm hungry. Good night, Tug. Good night, Don. Good morning, Neil. And we'll see you tomorrow.